Okay, so I'm Penny Andrews, as Greg just said, and this piece is called Run On. I'm not going to do a normal talk. I created a performance piece, which will start in about a minute. And as Greg said, you can find me on Twitter, where I'm at Penny B. I also commissioned my friend Siobhan Britton to illustrate my 20 slides because I can't really draw and nicking pictures off Google is shit. <laughs> I've interpreted running quite broadly and have set myself a challenge of writing five spoken word pieces that explain my life in running. I am a semi-elite para-athlete as well as an artist and writer. If you are disappointed that this is not all about me as a runner, please come to the Art of Endurance Seminar tomorrow. If you enjoy this work, I've made a book out of it. No, really I have with an ISBN, so come and see me at the break or at the end. If you don't, it'll be over in 6 minutes and 20 seconds, which is an endurance event for me. These pieces were all written especially for Anti. I'm a sprinter, so they're mostly explosive rather than slow and steady. The first one is called Run My Mouth. Thank you. I don't belong here. This is not my place. When I look in the mirror, this is not my face. When I hear my voice, it's thick and slow. This body I'm in gives me nowhere to go. I don't think like other people. I don't move like other people. I don't breathe like other people. And I know I'm nothing special. I've just got a mouth on me. I've just got a mouth on me. I just need somewhere else to be. So gender is far too tough. And nothing I can do is ever enough. Because I don't walk right, and I don't read minds, and I don't breathe right, and I can't look you in the eyes. And though you think I should know what you're trying to say, you never, you never say it out loud. And I, I just run my mouth. And so the next one is called Run You Clever Boy, and it's about Doctor Who. The doctor takes your hand, says run for your life! You don't pause, you don't question, you just go and you let him drive. Is it running away or is it running towards aliens and adventures and the oncoming storm? A hero like us, like none before, with running and words, with hope and thought. Run, you clever boy, and remember the day you changed my life. You don't want spandex, don't want guns, and your spaceship is your wife. I, I want to save the universe. I want to put the polarity into reverse. I want to let the TARDIS help me converse with Daleks, Silurians and a cat nurse. We'll sing among the stars. We'll run with gay abandon. I'll take the mind wipe and Aberdeen if I can be your next companion. And that's Peter Capaldi when he's trying to be a pop star. It's quite fun. <laughs> this one's called Running Water. It's never quiet in here. I struggle to stop. Warp and weft constantly change. Threads are dropped. People who jump waterfalls sometimes make mistakes. We are deep in the valley, climbing wet rock, swallowed by the gorge, caught up in the chase. The river runs hardest over the drop. There is a path to follow. Water runs her course. I find order in flowing, peace in her bed. A waterlogged island, crossed by rivers and canals. We run away to the sea, listen to the waves. Breathe, bathe in escape. Let's get lost. So the next one is called Run Towards the Spikes, and it's a bit about when I went mental, really. I spent every day in my room. I would leave for half an hour. A routine as defined as walls. Short walk, can of pot, chocolate bar. Everything in life becomes a risk. Every decision is a real or near miss. Every no is seen as a burned bridge. Every yes is the edge of a crumbling cliff. One day, I woke up. I set a challenge for myself. I gave myself two choices. Nothing to catch me if I fell. On tiny danger I thrived. I began to live my life. I learned to stop worrying and run toward the spikes. Failure is good for you. It lets you do something new. Every single path that's blocked becomes another bridge to cross. This all gets a bit self-help. But run towards the spikes. Run like hell. 
And the, the, last, the last of these pieces is actually about running. So I called it Real Runner. Never run for fun or fitness. A runner made, not born. I came from nothing, will return to nothing. Flailing arms and scrawn. Experiment becomes participation. Participation becomes practice. Practice becomes development. Potential, if not talent. Work it in the gym, lifting more than spirit. Work it on the track, raising more than knees. Progress from personal bests. Success beyond our limits. Races and academies, they let us dare to dream. So paint me like one of your fast girls. Imagine somewhere beyond the medals where value meets values and valiant are those who choose to see the space between potential and prizes as a place for a bridge, not a court of assizes, where many will always, always be found wanting. Do you like my fantasy spikes? <laughs> <laughs> so, this isn't a sales pitch. That's not allowed, but Ron definitely is a book because it's got an ISBN and that makes it real, as well as Pekka Kutcher, so come and speak to me later. I have been Penny Andrews. The lovely Siobhan Britton did the drawing. Binary is not the only kind of gender and distance is not the only kind of running. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs>